Want to see how these are made? That's next on Dragon Construct. All right, we have our square and circle lace nesting dies. They are five inch to one inch. This is what we're gonna to use to make our little uh, mana wells and healing wells. You could also use them for tiles. You could use them for decorations of all different types. We're gonna use our foam. All right, here we go to cutting. All right, we have our die cutting machine set up here. Here we have our dies on our top of our foam. Each die machine is gonna be a little different, so you're gonna to have to play with yours. Don't over, you know, don't overstress the machine. That's how you do each and every single one. You lay them out. And come out. Separate real easily. You do that to each one of these, you know, you lay them out and figure out what you want. All right. I'm gonna do a few more of these to get set up and I'll show you how we glue them together. As you see here, we have everything already uh, cut with our dies. I did two each of the different sizes that I did, the different shapes. We're gonna put those together now. We're gonna use tacky glue. You have to sit a little bit for the glue to kind of tack up and get in. And we're gonna paint, use uh, curly paints, the red and blue. All right, here we go.
All right, we're gonna paint our little wells that we're making here. I'm just gonna use a black. And I have some, you know, a red and regular blue and a regular purple I may use, I don't know, on one of them. That we'll paint the centers with. We'll add some tissue to add some contrast and some texture to the surface of that to make it look like a little pool. Um, we might actually uh, put a little layer of glue and dip these into a little bit of rock so they have a little bit of weight on the bottom. Um, just seems to stay in place a little bit better. All right, here we go. All right, to get into those little cracks, this takes so much time. I'm gonna take a jar. I'm gonna make a black wash in this. These were just the uh, brushes that I, were I was using. I'm gonna throw the foam in and I'm gonna shake it up with the wash and cover all the surfaces. There's still quite a bit of water in here. I need to probably take a little bit of it out. Um, all right, here we go. As you can see here, we're all done. Our uh, black paint has dried. Um, gives a nice little base to it. Dunking them was much easier. It covered a lot more of these little spots. You can still see a few. A little bit of the pink. We'll touch those up as we go along. Um, we're gonna make um, these two uh, a mixed whale and do it purple. All right, here we go.
we have the center of the wheels all filled here with the red and the blue. On these two matching ones, we added gems to the red and added gems to the blue. Um, we're still going to dry brush all this. Um, probably maybe do a couple in the blue, maybe some in white. Um, I'm going to show you a different technique on how to mix everything up for the, the purple ones instead of using the bags like I I did with the, the red. The blue was done just exactly the same way as the first two of the red that I showed you. There's no difference on any of them. This is just a cup I had the black in earlier. I'm just going to mix some some tacky and some purple color. You can use any kind of paints that you want. All right, here we go. All right, as you can see here, I zoomed in a little bit so you can see. Um, we have our wells painted. I'm gonna paint the purple one so I can show you the process of adding a layer of white first to bring out a little bit more color. This is the difference between a layer of white and a non-layer of white. Same process, but as you can see from around the edges and stuff that the blue just kind of blends in more with the black. You add the white, it brings the blue out. I did that with the red also. This one got really, really bright. I definitely will add a wash to these at the very, very end. Um, I'll probably even wash them before I put the crystals in. I'm gonna dry brush this white, both of these, and then paint them in front of you real quick. All right, let's get going here.
All right, we're gonna add our gems. Got these little uh, glass crystal gems. These are vintage. They were in a little case, I pulled them out. Same with these. These are blue Zargons. I'm not sure of these. They have a little pinkish reddish tint to them. They go perfect with the, the red. They don't have to be exactly the same color. Just want a little sparkle on them for whatever reason. I'm gonna use Let's glue the bloom down. All right, here we go. All right, we're finished with our project here. As you can see, we made several of them, different styles, different shapes. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Those are moonstones. Those are vintage also. All these gems and everything are all vintage. Probably from the 60s at least. Those are blue zarcons. I don't know what the name of the red ones are. Those are just a ruby. These are the only ones that are new. Those are flat bottom. All right. Thanks for watching.